Hello everyone and welcome back to the Happy Go Lucky Scamps channel on YouTube. My name is Mike and today we're picking up Dragon Age again. Um, so, where do we leave off last time? Uh, last time we ended up, uh, well, we defeated an evil legion of zombies. Uh, we ended up in a massive haunted castle. We have to go and find someone who's in one of the towers here for someone in Red Ridge or Red Run or, or whatever it's called. And uh, yeah, so we fought, no, we didn't fight, but we found a blood mage. We questioned him. We freed him. Morrigan liked that. Alistair hated it. Larry was entirely nonchalant throughout the whole thing. And, uh, and now we're here after fighting some evil ghost things. So... Without further ado, let's crack on. We've got to find this person. We've got to make sure that we uh, very carefully get through this place, actually, because as far as I remember, there is pretty much a danger around every corner. Um, I'm just checking this room to see if there's any hidden goodies, which it doesn't look like there is, actually, which is quite unusual for a bedroom, especially in a game like this. But I digress. So let's go through here now. I'm going to use my lessons from the past, stealth up before we go through, and scope out the scene. So what's in here? Oh well, that worked well! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's an army of Larrys! Right, okay, so let's get in here. We're going to have to take them out. Let's see if we can funnel them in the doorway. So, Morrigan, we need your everlasting uh, ability to cast amazing spells. Gary uh, is in there, of course. Larry has gotten in there, and Alistair has just decided to stand on the sideline and do nothing. Excellent. Let's take out this, uh, we'll start off by taking out this yellow one, because it looks like he's going to be, like, one of the pack leaders, and I think it'd be wise to concentrate on him. Morrigan, what are you doing? You're just kind of standing on the sideline, doing pretty much nothing. Excellent. Um, okay, we're going to leave it like this for the moment. Oh, actually, we should probably get uh, Larry in here somewhere. There we go. Let's get him in here. It's it's dog-on-dog -dog combat. No, that is not a euphemism of any description. I don't know how it would be a euphemism. Seriously, guys, get, get your minds out of the gutter. What is this? What do you think this is? Um, so, here we go. I remember that Gary has a pretty good ability to attack people from the behind instead of in the front. So let's get Alistair... Actually, let's heal up Alistair before he dies. And then we'll get him to take the aggro off of Gary by doing this. It looks like we've already taunted. So I'm quite surprised, actually. Gary has now decided that he doesn't want to do anything, doesn't want to join the fight. So I'm guessing, seeing as we can't take the aggro off him, we might as well just get in there with a load of our abilities and uh, do the best that we can. We'll get a vulnerability hex on him as well. Now that has taken the heat off of him, but unfortunately it's put it straight on to Morrigan, which was not the desired effect. Let's heal up Alistair if we can. Which we can't. We were just out of time. And uh, it looks like we're going to hit this off to a flyer, guys. So it looks like we're going to start uh, where we usually leave off in, yeah, massive trouble. And just kind of, uh, yeah, get blitzed by just a thousand dogs. All of the dogs. All of the time. Oh, my God. Oh, my good God. What the hell was that? Great. Well, that was great. <laughs> so I guess we're not going in there then. Um, I'm just going to ignore that room and uh, and carry on because I don't really see the benefit of going in there anyway. So, oh my good God. It doesn't matter where you go. This castle is just full of horribleness all over the place. But at least these guys we know we can take on. We fought thousands of these in the past, so let's just get these guys out of the way. We'll just dispatch them. No, I don't want Gary to open the door. Sorry, Larry. Oh my god, I'm getting all the names confused. Oh, you can tell it's been a while since I played this last. <laughs> oh boy. Right, okay. Let's take this guy down. Come on, evil thing. You're not enough for me. Match. Yes. What? No. What? No. Of course not. Let's get started. Excellent. Okay, great. So, we finally managed to take down an enemy without uh, without getting into too much trouble. Let's run in here, loot all of the cupboards. Ooh, a lesser injury kit. Now, that will come in useful later. Um, and we'll see what we can find on these guys. We've got goals. Of course we've got goals. Because no one, no one is truly... Oh, my good Christ. What in the fuck happened there? And everywhere, everyone's just kind of standing around. Gary gets blown half to, sh like, kingdom come. And everyone else just kind of stands around like, Oh, that was an interesting thing that happened there. My god, I'm so glad that didn't happen to me. Come on, guys, jump in. Oh, goodness me. What is this? 
Uh, Larry, do your howl. We need to stun everyone. Amazing. I can't believe that actually worked as effectively as it did. Uh, let's just keep attacking random people because I, I don't really have a strategy for this. As long as Gary's behind them doing his amazing, like, backstab ability, then we should be doing okay. And as long as Alistair is taking the majority of the aggro, it should be fine. Or so I think, anyway. This is the tactic that's held up up until now. This is the tactic we're going to go forwards with. Uh, let's heal them up. Make sure he's still attacking. We'll get big hits in on here. Shield bash. And of course, oh, well, he completely missed his precise striking, but hey-ho, I guess that's just the way it goes. Morrigan, get a healing on this guy, and let's take out the rest of these guys. I mean, come on. They're just shambling zombies. They can't be doing too much damage to us. We'll get some lightning in on this guy, because, well, we can, really. <laughs> There's no other rhyme or reason. Just because we can. We've taken out that guy in an explosion of ice, uh, courtesy of Morrigan. And now we're going to heal up Alistair to make sure he doesn't die. And also so that we're not using up too many of our potions. Because I know that I have a habit of using up quite a substantial amount of potions. Uh, come on, Gary. Let's let's get in behind this guy. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm going to try and reduce the amount of potions that we use. Uh, just so that we don't end up going into, like, massive fights with, like, hardly any potions or hardly any life. Um, okay. Come on, kill up Alistair. There we go. I was waiting for that. I was actually quite concerned for a second then. I thought we were going to lose to a bunch of enraged corpses. Uh, and that would have just been embarrassing. I mean, no one wants to lose to an enraged corpse. Oh, there's another there's another enraged corpse over there. I noticed that the epic music was still playing and nothing was happening. So while he's kind of standing in a doorway, uh, we might as well like recoup some of our life for a start. Alistair, looking at you. We'll just stand here, and we shall heal up Gary as well. And then we'll get them in there. Let's do this. It's only one. And uh, No, don't run into the door. Come on. Let's do this. Here we go. He's just taking it like a boss. No one else is coming in to help, of course. Uh, because Gary can obviously handle this all by himself. This enraged corpse... Actually, it doesn't really seem to be putting up much of a fight. I wonder what's going on here. I guess it's another one of those weird game glitches. So we'll just leave Larry and Gary to kind of, like, you know, take him out. The Dream Team, they are, after all, man and dog. As you can uh, obviously imagine, are inseparable. Right. So, we're in a new room. We've taken out a load of shambling zombies. What does that mean? Larry. Exactly. It means that we save at this point here. Amazing. Right, and now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out so we've got a bit of a tactical view. Ah! Ah, well, that's not very good. So we can't actually see through locked doors. As you well, can we pick it? It On requires it. a key. Okay, and what's through here? In fact, in fact, before we do that, no, I've learned my lesson. Um, let's get everyone in here. So, come on, guys. Everyone in. Pile in. Come on, guys. That's it. Yes. Open the door. Oh, my good God. Once again, I'm so glad we saved. Because this is just a legion of evil. It's a, In fact, it might even be the Legion of Doom. This is the Legion of Doom in Dragon Age Origins. Who knew? Who knew that this was going to be something that we came across? Not me, that's for certain. And now Gary is in a lot of trouble here. Uh, and, well, we generally are in a lot of trouble as well. Um, let's try and get one of these in here. And then we'll try and help him out with a bit of disorient as well. Oh, no, sorry. That was drain life. Well, that's fine either way. As long as we're taking him down. Gary is in here doing his amazing sweeping maneuver. Uh, Alistair is, of course, dying once again. So we'll get Morrigan to give him a, a quick heal. Oh, shit. Oh, right. Okay, so that didn't happen in the time I thought it was going to happen. Which means now, of course, we're only down to three of us to take out the Legion of Doom. And Gary is in there, but Larry is not. Excellent. Excellent work, guys. Good job, team. Uh, I think maybe we should get a heal in a little bit earlier on Gary here, just so he doesn't go under. Um, this shambling corpse is about to die, at least. Which is good, which is nice. We'll get Morrigan to drain his life. And Gary is now tied. Oh my god, I am so terrible at this game. Um, so now, we've basically got to keep these two alive. And I think, Morrigan, you should become a giant spider for the purposes of this. Um, just so that you have a better chance of uh, doing more damage. Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe you're just going to die. Um, right, okay, well, in that case, then, I guess it's down to Larry. Um, good luck, Larry. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, great. Well, well, 
Well, that was a bad decision. Um, right. Okay, what do we do? We've got to take out these guys somehow. So I'm, I think what we should do is we should stand back over here. We should get Alistair. We can't just run away from every fight that we come to. Um, in fact, what's in here? Actually, before we continue, this door is open. There's a cupboard. As you wish. With lesser hell explosion. Oh my good god. That's exactly what we need. Oh, thank Christ for that. Okay. Is there anything else? Dare I open this room? Hello? Oh! No! No way! It's her! It's the lady! Guys! Guys, we've done it! Guys, we found her! Come on! We need to we need to talk to this person. Valena! I'm gonna loot this box, but oh my god, I'm so glad you're alive! She suddenly became excessively fearful. Um, she seemed quite calm a second ago. Just calm down. Stupid girl, get out of my way. Um, calm down, come on. I, I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My, my name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. I, is she all right? What happened to everyone? Oh, good God. So, she's obviously locked herself in this cupboard. Well, not even locked herself in this cupboard. She's just hidden in this cupboard, away from everyone. Um, and she doesn't even know. Wait, so, you're you're the smith's daughter. We know this. Um, I was hoping to ask you the same question. Yeah, what's, what's going on? I don't know what happened. There was some talk the Arl was poisoned, that, that he wasn't just sick. They arrested someone for it, but then everything went mad. People started killing each other, and then their bodies would get up and walk. They didn't attack us right away, unless you tried running. I, I waited until everyone else was gone. I couldn't stand it anymore. Oh, shit. Okay, so basically, some, something happened with that poison, and I'm really beginning to regret freeing that blood mage. Um, okay, are you Owen's daughter? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? Uh, well, there is, but, uh, God only knows whether you're actually gonna make it out alive, so, uh, yeah, there's a tunnel leading out into the dungeon. But, but the monsters! Well, we've killed most of them, um, so, yeah, go for it. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Right, she's going for it. Was that a terrible decision? We will never know. Or we might know, but I'm not entirely certain because, of course, she has disappeared into the ether. Um, right, so despite having completed the quest, I actually, I really, really want to kill these guys in here. So let's save. Let's save the game and then prepare for epic... <laughs> That's apparently how you say combat. Uh, right, so let's get Morrigan over here. We'll get Gary in this corner here. In fact, no, we'll pull Gary back for the moment. We'll get what Alistair now? on the front line. And we will open the door from a... Oh, shit. Yeah, Larry knows what's about to happen. So we'll open the door from a reasonable distance, then run away. Can we kite them? No, apparently not. Let's get them out into the room anyway. We'll use shield cover and shield bash. Then we'll get everyone in on this guy. So, Morrigan, we need spells. We need all the spells all the time. And we need them quickly. There we go. So that's one of them down. Right. Next one. This one. Go. Gary. Get in there with your amazing ability. And lightning. Lots of lightning. That's also... What? When did Alistair die? How the hell did that happen? And now Gary's... What is... What is taking us down this... Oh, I see. I see. They're casting weakness on us. And that's what's taking us down. Right. Okay. I get it now. Jesus. Okay, so it's taken me this long to realize we there is no way we're going to survive this. I mean, I can drink a health potion, but I don't think it's actually going to do that much. Let's stun as many as we can. This devouring corpse is also apparently immune to stun, and now it's just down to uh, good old Morrigan, and I think this is going to basically be it. So, uh, yeah. Good luck, Morrigan. Drain health, and Winter's Grasp, a Disorient, and dead. Oh, good God. Right, okay, we're not giving up. We are going to do this. Okay, we just need... We just need a tactic. Okay, I'm going to try this, like, once more, and if we don't do it this time, then, well, we're just going to have to leave and hope for the best. Okay, so here we go, then. Open the door. Here we go. They cast the spells. 
Oh, they, they can apparently cast them through walls. Right, everyone is just standing around derping. We've got to keep our eyes on Alistair's health. Let's get people attacking as many people as we can. Larry, we need you in the middle so that you can cast this, which will hopefully stun as many people as possible, which it has done. Excellent. Right, okay. Now, Gary will keep on this guy. Alistair, now is your time. Time to shine. This is it. Big hits. That's what we need. That is what we need. Uh, Gary is over here doing the best that he can. Let's get him behind this guy because he's the devouring corpse that is causing us all this trouble. And we're just going to repeatedly stab him in the spine. Um, let's get Alistair a health potion because he's going to need it, as we well know. Uh, and we've taken one of them down. So that is a start. There's an enraged corpse here. I'm guessing we should probably take him down quite sharpish. So let's get Larry on this guy. We'll get Morrigan on this guy, and hopefully, hopefully this should be enough to see us through, but who knows. Morrigan also, can you cast a healing spell on Alistair before he dies? Thank you very much. Great. Gary, what are you up to? You still backstabbing like a champion? Yes, you are. Incredible. Uh, Alistair is uh, doing massive damage to all of these guys. We'll give him a health potion and we'll do more precise striking. Shield bash. We're gonna just... Ha, 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 ha. That's what we're going to do. In a vocal term, that's the, uh, that's the kind of effect I'm aiming for. Let's jump into our inventory and give him a greater health poultice. Because hopefully that will make the difference. There we are. And also, sorry, I've just realized he's actually got a, um, a debuff on him. So we'll give him a lesser injury kit as well. Maybe that is what's causing the difference. We'll see. We will see. Here we go. Back in. Come on, Gary. Come on, Larry. You guys. You guys have got to bring it home for the team. Larry, uh, uh, Gary, what the hell are you doing? Why are you just standing there? Morrigan, why are you not healing this man? Maybe I should set that as some kind of, like, automatic thing. Because I know you can do that. You can do that in the uh, in the options menus, which is incredibly useful, actually. So, Larry is on this guy. I think, possibly. Alistair is nearly dead, but has successfully taken down this guy, I think. So we're going to give him another health potion. I know, I know what I said before. I know we're now burning through health potions. Oh my good god, he's dead again. However... Oh, no, the Devouring Corpse is still alive. Um, okay, fair enough. Well, I mean, I figured that the Devouring Corpse would probably go down, but apparently not. So I don't know how we're going to deal with this situation now, guys. We're probably just going to have to give this guy a vulnerability hex so that Larry can take him down. We'll drain life from this guy because Morrigan's on quite, well, low, lower health than she should be. Um, Larry is just kind of biting this shambling corpse in the testicles and Gary is uh, well, doing his utmost to take down this shambling corpse, although unfortunately not doing very much. Let's get a mind blast in here because I remember that's an AoE effect. He's resisted it. Of course he's resisted it. Right. Larry, come on. Now is the time. Now is the time for you to show us what you're made of. Morrigan, we seriously need to keep alive. We need to keep Morrigan alive. Gary, how are you doing? I mean, come on. This guy this guy should have been dead about three years ago. Let's finish this guy up. Then make sure that we have enough health to be able to take down that guy as well. Oh my good god. Morrigan, you are a genius. I can't believe you did that by yourself. That makes me so happy. And now it's three on one. We've got every chance of taking him down. Oh my god. We did it, guys. Guys, we did it. As you wish. We did it, guys. Guys, we've done it. Jesus. Oh. Oh, I can't believe we've done it. I'm so happy. And, oh, God. Did we take them all down? Oh, fuck it. I'm going to save. Okay. Amazing. I can't believe it. Have we taken them all out? Yes, we have. Oh, my God. We did it. Well, there's another room here. But, I mean, I can't believe that we've done that. That's pretty damn incredible. Um, Is there anything else through here? Can we see over the wall? No, of course we can't. That would be cheating. Well, we've saved. So, we might as well see what's through here. Uh, Hello? Hello? Nope. Nope, there's nothing in here. Right, okay. Let's do our usual looting then. Take as many things as we can. Hopefully a lot of these will be uh, health potions. Um, because that's what we really need, uh, ultimately. What's this staircase? Where does this go? Fire crystals as well. What is in here? Where does this go? Basement cellar. Oh, do we really want to go that way? Is that something we want to do, guys? Great. Okay, let's check out the basement then. Just really quickly. Let's see what's down there. 
Okay, so here we are. We're in the basement cellar. Cellar basement. The basement. And what is in here? A great big pile of junk. And a few chests. Amazing. So, at least we can unlock something. I noticed that that one was actually locked. Let's take this deep mushroom. It's a mushroom that only has thoughts about philosophy and things about marijuana because it's deep, man. Yeah. Deep. Okay, let's take everything else we can. Ooh, some steel braces. They might be very useful. Uh, no, I don't want my character record. Let's go into the inventory and quickly have a look at these steel braces. Uh, where are they? Can we wear them? Surely they would be in armor. Why are they not here? Did we leave them in the chest? No, we definitely didn't. Uh, where are they then? Steel? Hello? Steel? Sort alphabetically. Here we go. Steel. Uh, L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-S. -S -S. Steel? Hello? Steel braces. There we go. Oh, it's a gift. These steel braces have exquisite carvings of warhounds on them. Oh. Oh. Oh, so it's not even real armor. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, and we've still got this cap. Actually, can Morrigan wear that? I'm sure I've said this about 8,000 times, but... No, Morrigan can't wear it. Uh, that's a shame. That's a big shame, actually, because uh, I thought that she would be able to. Um, let's take this, then. Let's get Gary to wear this, because he looks a bit ridiculous, but... Hell, it'll, if anything, that actually keeps him alive. Uh, okay. So the basement cellar was a success, and now we can head out to the courtyard. But first, uh, I am just going to keep saving this game until Kingdom Come. There. All right. Here we are. The courtyard. So, I know that we actually need to leave the castle. I know there's not a lot more... What is happening? What is happening? Oh, shit. There are skeleton archers. Oh, shit. And they all seem to be incredibly concerned with Gary. None of these guys are taking any damage, I notice. Come on, then. Right, let's do this. Skeleton archer. Ain't got nothing. You're not even gonna... You can't even. You just... You don't. You don't have the ability. No one does. We've got the skills. That pay the bills. And thereafter. Come on, guys. Let's just mow these guys down, apparently. Um, and then hopefully, maybe, we can send some reinforcements through the front door. Also, where is the, um, where's the guy who came here and his other half? Because there was a guy. It wasn't there. The guy we spoke to, the owl or whatever he was, like, didn't he come in here with that evil? Oh, Jesus Christ. What in the fuck is that? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Okay, well, I think we know what Alistair's gonna be attacking, then. Uh, let's get him on this guy. Big hits. The biggest hits. That's what we need. Just as many hits as is possible to hit. Let's use a potion, because... Oh, Jesus, I think he nearly died then, as well. God, can you imagine? Right, let's keep going. Come on, Larry. Come on, Gary. Don't stop now. Just keep going. Alistair, keep up the good fight. This Revenant is not gonna go down easily. Well, seemingly, anyway. In fact, you know what we can do? We can get Morrigan on this guy as well. Give him a bit of backup. Let's get a, uh, a vulnerability curse on him. We'll heal up Alistair as well. You we need to heal up Gary too. Gary, for some reason, stopped in the middle of doing whatever he was doing. Uh, and that's not the best. Come on, guys. Larry has also stopped. This is the most annoying glitch that has ever glitched glitching. Seriously, this is annoying. Uh, if, the, if the makers of this game are watching this, I hope... I haven't played any of the other games, but I severely hope that that was fixed in later games. Right, Alistair's nearly dead. Can he survive this? God only knows. We'll get a healing, po healing on him. And we also give him a cheeky health potion. Sort by type. Here we are. Lesser. Here we go. Lesser! Yes! And he's also got like a thousand and one uh, ailments on him as well, so we'll give him one of these two. Great! Okay, we're back on track. Or so I think, anyway. Uh, this shambling corpse is no match for Gary, uh, so that should be fine. It's this revenant that I'm seriously worried about. Larry, what are you attacking? Are you attacking anything? You're attacking this guy. Okay, great. Uh, so let's keep Morrigan and Alistair on this guy. We'll get some lightning in here. We'll get drain life in here. Well, he's immune to frost, apparently. Oh, no, he's not immune to frost. Oh, no! Oh, no, Alistair's down! Oh, shit, when did that happen? I've really got to start paying more attention to this. So, Larry is now our tank, which means that he is going to be taking all the damage. Um, did that... Did that thing just say shit? I think it did. Um, 
Okay, so the Revenant is now attacking Morrigan. This was a terrible idea. This was the worst idea that I have ever come up with ever in the whole history of anything. Uh, ever. Good God. <laughs> Good God. So, unfortunately, guys, it looks like we're going down. And there's not very much we can do about it. This Revenant has got us absolutely outgunned on every front. I mean, all of our guys are dead. He's resisting everything. The only thing we can hope for now is that Gary kind of summons some sort of superhuman strength. And, oh, and no, he didn't. Um, which is incredibly unfortunate. Shit. What we're going to do is now we know that these guys are up there. We're going to try and pull them over to here and then we'll heal up then we'll take on this group of guys because that's the revenant there i think so maybe we can stealth up here and have a little scout can we do this have they seen us yeah i think they have seen us actually that's a bit lame why does our stealth never work what is the point what is the point in being a rogue if you can't actually stealth oh shit oh my god it's a firefight why didn't I think of this before? Guys, get your bows ready. Let's do this. Come on. And you too, Gary. Get out of stealth. It's not doing you any favors. Let's just get these guys with long range attacks. This is what we need. This is exactly what we need. Yes. Morgan, don't go too close. Oh, good God. Don't go too close. Let's heal up. We'll drain his life. We'll move on to this guy. Are you guys still shooting? I hope so. Take out that guy. Alistair's stopped shooting for some reason. He can take out this guy. And we'll take him out at range. Yes! Look at this! One of my plans is actually working. I can't believe this. <laughs> genuinely. Genuinely, I am shocked that this has actually worked. Although we are missing everything. I mean, we're not doing that great. But a Morrigan has just randomly decided to, uh, to stop once again. So we'll get a Winter's Blast in here and just take him down. Amazing. Amazing. I can't... I genuinely can't believe that worked. I think we should save. Yes, we should save. We can't save. Ah, oh, shit. Why are we still in combat? We should be out of combat. Oh, well. Fine. Whatever. We're just going to heal up then. We'll wait here. We'll heal up. And then we'll see if one of these guys can pull one of those guys over there. The lesser guys, though. So who do we want? That's... That's the Revenant. What's that? No, that's the Revenant. So which one is... He's just a shambling corpse. Can we pull him? Let's try and work our way around the edge here. We're doing some tactical maneuvers. And shoot that guy. Yes! The tactics! The ta... Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, well, that's not the greatest, but, I mean, it's not the worst, let's face it. So, now that they're in close range, let's just, let's just do them. Come on, guys. I think they're, actually, no, I think the Revenant's coming now, which is not, not the best at all, in fact. Uh, right, let's Winter's Grasp this Shambler. And then this guy will get Alistair to have his super crazy, awesome weapons. Shield bash the shit out of this guy. Oh no, the Revenant hasn't seen us yet. We should pull them back over here and then take them out. Oh my god, it's almost as if we're using tactics. Yes. Oh no, that's not good. Oh no, that's not good. Oh no, that's not good at all. No, 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 no. Okay, Alistair heals, big heals, all the heals, all the time. Um, Gary, oh dear, oh no. Um, Larry, finish taking out this guy. Morrigan. Also on the Revenant here. One of those. Alistair, Revenant. You are you are going to take down this guy. That is what you are going to do. This is now your sole purpose. Oh, good God. What is he doing? I think he's doing terrible things, guys. I'm, I'm actually quite concerned. What is he going to do? Who is he attacking? I can't really tell. I think he's attacking both of us at the same time. Oh, man, that's not fair. At least the corpses are all dead, though, so now it's just us versus him in a battle of the titans. Let's get some electricity in here. Let's also get this in here. We'll get Gary back in here because he's obviously decided to stop halfway through a battle. Uh, Morrigan, can you cast another heal? Yep, you can. Right, let's get it on Gary for now. We'll give Alistair a healing potion and we'll also give him... Uh, one of these lesser injury kits. Uh, in fact, no, we need the health potion first. 
Great. Then, oh shit, no, not that. Then we need the lesser injury kit. Sorry, guys, I'm just getting too excited. I just need to be in all of the menus. Um, right, so we've taken him down by a quarter of his health. Larry is over on the back line here doing nothing. Is his name Phil? Did I just see Phil come up then? Is that what this Revenant's name is? Because if it is, uh, then I, I, that's amazing. I think he's glitched out temporarily. This gives us a chance to strike. Alistair, get in there. Big hit. Big hit. Shield bash. Morrigan, no. No, Morrigan can't die. No. No, we need Morrigan. She needs to stay alive. Come on. Drink a potion. Get out the way. Move. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay, this isn't good. Uh, Alistair, what can you do in this situation? Can you actually get in there with a really big hit? Save Morrigan in the last second? Possibly? Potentially? I don't know. No, apparently not. Oh, God. Oh, no, we can't lose now. Come on, dirty fighting. Something, anything. We need to stay alive. Is, is Larry alive? Larry is alive. What's he doing? What is he doing? I don't know. No one knows. Let's get lesser injury kit, uh, lesser health potions in. And Larry, you're just standing there again. Why are you? Oh God. Well, this isn't the greatest. Oh shit. What happened there? What did he just do? Why are we doing massive amounts of damage now? Larry, Larry, can you take him out on your own? Is this what I'm understanding? No, no, we can't. Shit. Shit, guys. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, right. Okay, so I'm afraid, guys, we're out of time for this episode, unfortunately. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned in the next episode when we're going to try and carry on clearing out this courtyard and see if we can get into the main f the main hall up here and see if we can find what's his face and what's her face. Larry, stop digging through my ass. I'm trying to do an outro. Um, okay, then, guys. So, like I say, thank you very much for watching. I, of course, have been Mike of the Happy Go Lucky Scamps. Um, if you've enjoyed watching this video, remember to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And in the meantime, I will see you in the next one. So, take care guys. Bye-bye.